speed accessibility everything remains same or will there be any cons there between these two no, see, definitely there are pros and cons in both so simple i normally what i do is normally i uh, take a example of this is your own house it's let's say you are new in a city let's say you got a new job in mumbai and you have two options option number 1 you buy your own house okay option number 2 you take a house on rent so definitely there are pros and cons of this if you buy your own house number 1 you need to pay upfront amount okay but the pro- the good thing is that it is your own house you can change the structure the way you want you can change the, the color of your house you can do whatever you want because it is your property when it comes to the rented house the good thing is you don't need to worry at all you just need to pay the monthly charges whatever monthly quarterly yearly charges you agree okay but the problem is you would not be able to do anything you will not be able to change anything in the house you will not be able to change the color of your house okay so it is like you have to adjust in whatever is pre delivered by the third party so in terms of sap same thing applies so if i give the example from the sap point of view if you are using on premise system number 1 the problem is that there is a upfront cost involved for the hardware but there are a lot of benefits benefit number 1 it is your own system you can do whatever you want you can do the customizations if you want uh, you know in sap we normally create lot of custom processes c processes okay so those those customized processes i can create as per my requirement in on premise when it comes to cloud i cannot create the custom processes i have to use the processes which are already provided by sap i cannot include my own custom processes okay at the same time the maintenance okay so i will get a mail from sap that the maintenance is scheduled on this particular date i don't have the control to that it is sap who is taking care of the maintenance here i can decide when i want to do the maintenance when i want to do the downtime this is all up to the customer to decide that whether i want to do the maintenance activity on which date whether i want to do this maintenance activity on uh, the nights or on the days it is up to the customer here it is up to the sap sap will decide when the maintenance will be carried out sap will decide when the system will be down okay those all things falls under sap and also just understand one thing it is not only hardware if you are buying sap as per hana on premise system then in order to maintain that hardware just buying the hardware is not enough you need to maintain it also so you need a team who would be responsible for the server maintenance in case of cloud you don't need to worry about that because you don't have the hardware hardware is being maintained by sap itself so in short my recommendation would be if a customer is a big customer okay and if the customer is not happy with the standard functionalities which are provided by sap in that case definitely go for on premise but if a customer is a small customer they don't have that much budget to go for the hardware cost even the team that they don't want to hire so in that particular case there is no other option uh but only thing is they need to follow whatever is available in the standard product you cannot make any modifications in the system okay and if you are okay with that then only you can go for cloud yeah uh, why we cannot uh, do customization in cloud means we are cloud we will be uh, we'll check cloud your uh, application only na no no cloud is a shared system cloud is not something which is you are only using for example as i told you gmail by Oh, sorry there is some background noise yeah so for example gmail now is it gmail is only used by your organization or only by you or it is being shared by million billions of other users also it is being shared right so if i make any change based on your request what will happen it may impact the other company okay so i'll, I'll give one example 
See, normally, if I buy the hardware, I can support up to thousand users. If I buy my own on-premise hardware, I can at any point of time my thousand users can work on that system. Now, when SAP will set up the cloud system, it has the capability of thousand different users who can log in. But my company is small. I only have fifty users. I have a requirement of fifty users. So SAP is not going to give me the dedicated client for that. That fifty users, my fifty users, there may be another company who is having two hundred users. There may be third company who will be having five hundred users. So all these thousand users are working on the same system, which belongs to different company. So if I make any change based on the request of one company, that may impact the other company also, right? Like, even if it's private cloud. No, private cloud is different. If it is a private cloud, then it is not called as S4 HANA cloud. When we are talking about SAP S4 HANA cloud, this is not a private cloud. This is a shared cloud. If it is private, then it would be on-premise system hosted by the third party. Okay. Is that a fourth kind, uh, or is it the same as on-premise? So don't get confused here with the private cloud. Okay, so when we say for HANA, the private I... cloud, it is same as on premise. You are getting full flexibility. Yeah, normally when we say SAP S4 HANA cloud, this is a cloud which is being shared by multiple customers, and that is the reason there is no flexibility to modify. There is no flexibility to change according to your own requirements. You have to use the standard best practices. Okay. In in private cloud, okay. only thing is your infrastructure is on the cloud. Uh, rest all control is with you. Exactly. See, there are. I don't want to confuse because there are many beginners here. That is the reason I am restricting this discussion to this much. But we have a topic. Once we complete our uh, uh, basic things, towards the end we will be discussing these things in detail. But just to since you asked, let me uh, tell you one thing. maybe if some of you are not able to understand no need to worry about at this moment let's understand what is another option of cloud see here what i'm saying is if you are going for sap s4 on a on premise from sap you are only purchasing the software hardware it is your responsibility to manage sap is not responsible for your hardware SAP is only responsible for the software if you are buying the on-premise license. On the other hand, if you are going for SAP S4 HANA cloud, SAP is providing you the hardware as well as software. Now I want the third option. Okay, I am a customer. If I am going to SAP for the hardware, let's assume SAP is charging more for the hardware. So what I'll do? I will buy SAP S4 HANA on-premise. from sap okay sap will tell you you manage your own hardware but again i don't have the capability to buy my own hardware so what should i do i will go to aws or i will go to google cloud i will tell them i have my sap s4 hana on premise license but i want to deploy on your hardware so i will pay you whatever is hardware cost but i want to deploy this on premise system on your hardware this is just an example so in this case i am managing the hardware from third party not from sap directly and that is the reason i can continue to use my sap s4 hana on premise system so hardware is being provided by the third party i am buying sap s4 hana on premise license since i am using sap s4 hana on premise i don't need to worry about the changes whatever customs i want to write i can do that easily in my s4 hana on premise system you got it now yes friend okay so these are different deployment options that sap provides we have a a deployment option which is on premise on cloud so these are the two hybrid is just a mix of both so i gave you the example you are implementing sap s4 hana on premise for the core business processes 
but you are also using uh, Ariba, Hybris, Success Factors, which are the cloud-based functionalities. So if you club both, if you club on-premise to your cloud applications, your system will become hybrid system. So hybrid is nothing but combination of on-premise and on cloud. Example, SAP S4 HANA on-premise MM SD FICO can be used in integration with Ariba, Hybris, Success Factors which are only available on cloud. So if you want to implement Ariba, if you want to implement Hybris, these are not available on premise at all. They are only available on cloud. So if you want to integrate this too, this option is called as SAP S4 on a hybrid combination. Okay. Let's go to the next slide. The next thing that we need to discuss is I want to keep it simple because we already introduced a lot of technical terminologies today. What are the different type of projects in SAP S4 HANA? Whenever you will be working on SAP S4 HANA, what are the different types of projects that you will be working on? So first of all, there is an implementation project. Okay. Second is support project. Number three is rollout. And number four is development project. Okay. These are the four types of projects where whenever you are working on SAP, when you say I'm a SAP consultant, I'm working on SAP consulting, these are the four options at any point in time you would be working on. Number one, implementation. Implementation means customer is implementing a new SAP S4 HANA system. Okay. This customer is implementing a completely new SAP S4 HANA system. So this is called as an implementation project. For example, those companies who are currently not using SAP, they are growing and they decided that now there is a need to use a, a better software. Okay, maybe they were using some third party softwares, ERPs till now. And now they decided uh, for our beta reporting, we want to implement SAP S4 HANA. So they will go for the implementation projects. This is called as an implementation project. Number two is support project. Support project means customer already implemented SAP S4 HANA. See, whenever I'm saying S4 HANA, maybe let's do one thing because this is common. It is not necessarily needs to be S4 HANA. Let's talk about SAP itself. So it is not necessary that implementation is only on S4 HANA. So it is common for all SAP things. So implementation is customer is implementing a new SAP system and support is customer already implemented SAP. It can be ECC, it can be S4 HANA, it can be RP. So customer already implemented SAP and now wants support on day-to-day -day basis. Okay, so customer has already implemented SAP. Users are already doing the transactions. They are creating the invoices. They are making the payments. Uh, they are creating the sales orders, purchase orders. So in day-to-day -day activities, they may face some issues. Okay, they may be uh, not able to process the transactions correctly, or they may be, uh, when they are trying to do the transaction, they are getting any error. So they are not the technical guys. They are not the consultants. So what they will do? They will raise a ticket. There will be the ticketing tool to which they will, or maybe just 